company knows in order to walk in signs and wonders, you've got to be a sign and a wonder. You've got to say, God, be a sign and a wonder. I love who I am, who you created me to be, and I'm just going to be me. And that alone is a sign and a wonder. I don't care who you are. I don't care how quiet you are. I don't care how you walk, how you talk. If you just operate in who you are, you are a sign and a wonder. Because there are so many people that are losing sight of who they are, trying to please man, trying to follow this and follow that. Instead of just being who you are, the totality of what God put inside of you is enough. Whoa! You are an amazing creation. Whoa! So when he woke Adam up, Adam must have been like, Whoa. <laughs> Can you imagine how wide-eyed Adam must have been? Yeah. He's looking around like, Whoa. <laughs> He's on that potter's wheel, you know. I don't know yeah. how long. You guys said, wait a minute. Ah. Mm. Think about it. Uh. Think about it. If you would have jumped out of the womb as you are now, <laughs> I'm sitting on around the, I'm sitting on around the world is my footstool. The world is my footstool. I don't know what you're freaking out about. You ain't never seen a bird having a nervous breakdown. They wake up every morning and they, they, they serenade the Lord. They wake up every morning. The, the, the stars come out at night and they go, Whoa. Just like we need to be doing, we need, Whoa. They come out every night and they can't help just thinking about the glory of God. They can't help but do what they do. No more than you can help doing what you do. The totality of God. The totality of God and what He wants to do in you. God puts a seed in everything He creates. Hallelujah. He puts a seed in everything He creates, girl. Hallelujah. Everything He creates, He puts a seed in. In every apple, He put an apple orchard. Amen. In every man, He put a generation. Hallelujah. Bam, baby! God's already in the past. He's already healing it. And it's affecting the future. That's why he's in the past. Amen. He don't take us into the past. He don't make us live in the past. But he is the past. He's the present, the future. Hallelujah. And when he goes back and he, and he heals that thing in the past, it affects the future. We're all a byproduct of what we've been healed from the past. That's why whenever I see a little kid, first thing I want to do is tell them how amazing they are. Because that's what God does with us. We just don't see it. Every day they look at us like we're amazing. Amen. Everything we do is like we're amazing. Why don't we wake up like that with God? He's our daddy. He's certainly a lot more interesting than we are. <laughs> Hallelujah. I hate to say it. Amen. But unless we are fully, you know, walking in, in, in the wonder of the totality of who he is, that's why little kids, man, they're just amazed by us. So I'm amazed right back. Our God defies time. That's why Jesus made it plain. He made it plain in Revelation. The God which is, the God which was. It's covered. The God which is to come. Hmm. The God which is to come. The God which is to come. Hallelujah. All inclusions. I'm in the past. I'm in the present. But that whispering wind whispers the glory of God. Sit and listen to the wind sometime. Sit and listen to the wind. 